good guys it's your girl Keisha Ariel and welcome back to my channel in today's video I will be sharing with you the best lock method to consider when starting your lock journey especially if you have fine low density hair so let's jump right into it okay so for the past three weeks I have been sharing with you all about fine low density hair and the reason why I decided to start focusing more on fine low density hair is because I I realized that that is my hair's profile and with that profile hair's profile my hair routine and hair care will be completely different to someone who has thick hair strands as well as a higher hair density so I first wanted to you know explain to those who may have a similar hair profile to mine how to identify whether they have fine low density hair how to care for fine low density hair and ways on how to thicken their hair density as well as their hair strands so with that I wanted to continue sharing with those who have a similar hair profile profile to mine how to start their lock journey and to get the best well yeah get the best results once you have began that journey so if you have fine low density hair like myself and you want to start your lock journey and you have a particular um, look that you're going for you will find this video very helpful so let's jump right into it okay so as you guys know I have had two lock journeys one where I started my lock journey with um, instant locks and my second lock journey I started with a two strand twist method now when I began my lock journeys both of them I knew exactly how I wanted my hair to look I wanted to be honest when I want when I started my first lock journey my idea for my locks was the Lauren Hill look right I wanted my locks to be very similar to hers you know her hair was quite thick and it just looked big and just beautiful and that's what I wanted when I started my lock journey but when I started it and I was along my lock journey I realized mm, something's not adding up it doesn't look right it's not quite giving me the Lauren Hill look so you know that lock journey ended and it didn't end because of that now I have a video on my channel where I speak about why that lock journey end and you could definitely check it out right here but um, you know I'm just kind of giving you a bit of a backstory on where my mind was when I started my lock journey and why my locks didn't actually come out that way right so when I ended my first lock journey and started my second lock journey I'm like okay well my locks were a bit smaller in my first lock journey so maybe if I do them bigger I will be able to get that effect right did my locks bigger and it still didn't come out exactly how I want it and that was all because I didn't understand my hair's profile which now that I understand my hair's profile that it's fine and low density there is absolutely no way I could have gotten that look and that look what I'm talking about is thick locks and fullness I wanted thick full locks but with fine low density hair that's not quite possible so if you want thick locks you can achieve thick locks but if you want full locks thick and full sorry guys we're gonna have to pick a struggle <laughs> I mean not a struggle but <laughs> A struggle we're gonna have to pick one we have to pick either we want thick or we want um, fullness so if you want full locks or you want thick locks I know I did them on the opposite side <laughs> if you want either one of those I'm gonna share with you how to start your lock journey to make sure that you have thick locks or full locks but just know if you have fine low density hair sorry we can't have both I've tried it it's impossible so let me tell you how you can get the thick locks if that's what you're after or full locks and what lock method is best for you to start your lock journey okay so for those who just want thick locks but aren't necessarily too fussed about whether um, their locks is full what you're gonna have to consider is first how many locks you want and how thick you want your locks because if you say for example you wanted a hundred locks on your head and you wanted thick locks now because you have low hair density 
You can have a hundred locks on your head, but the thickness of your locks would not be what you anticipate. It will come out quite fine. So you have to kind of be very realistic in the amount of locks you want and also you know that would determine the thickness of your locks so if you want thick locks then you're definitely gonna have to come down in your number in the amount of locks you want now for example when I started my first lock journey I had over a hundred locks on my head and my locks were quite fine when I started my second lock journey I understood that I wanted thicker locks so I'm gonna have to make my sections bigger so I think I went down to about 66 or 69 I can't quite remember how many locks I had in my second lock journey I came down to about that amount thinking all oh, right I will have thicker locks and it will kind of give me the effect that I want but it didn't necessarily give me exactly what I want yes I had thicker locks in comparison to my first lock journey but I didn't get that thick locks and also I didn't get that fullness that I anticipated because at this point I didn't even understand my my hair's density and because it was so low I didn't even realize that I couldn't get that fullness that I wanted but if I was only like concerned more so about the thickness of my locks I would just have to go down in numbers even more so say if I went to about 40 to 50 locks I would definitely get the thickness that I want but I wouldn't have gotten the fullness that I want so this is why it's important to know your hair's density especially as I mentioned we're talking about those with low hair density also how many locks you want and how thick you want your locks because that will definitely put into perspective, you know, how to go about, you know, starting your lock journey to get the exact result that you want. So that you don't start your lock journey and then be disappointed with your locks or not love them as much as you anticipated. So with that, as I've always mentioned, if you want thicker locks, you have to make your sections bigger. Now the lock method, I would suggest starting your lock journey with um, to get thicker locks are two strand twist um, star locks or instant locks as well as free form locks or semi free form locks right now the reason why I would say um, semi free form or then free form actually now the reason why I would suggest um, two strand twist instant locks and the semi free form lock uh, method is because especially with two strand twist your locks um, are able to swell a, a bit more than if you were to start with braid locks because with braids your hair when you plait it down as you would have seen in my previous videos you see how thin my my um braids were but when you look at my two strand twist if we go back to some of my first videos with my two strand twist starter locks you will see how my locks swelled right it was well my, my star locks um, it swelled and it got like a nice fluffy chunky look so if you consider that compared to braids which one do you think is going to give that more fluffy look clearly the two strand twist now why I also suggest instant locks is because with instant locks you get to form your um, locks to the, the the fluffiness as you want because I've seen people who've started their lock journey with instant locks on YouTube and they made it quite loose or you can even make it quite tight so you can um, you know determine how tight or how loose you would like your locks to look so as your locks mature over time it will give that fullness right so definitely instant locks or two strand twist as well as semi free form now why I say semi free form more so than free form is because free form locks is that you literally leave your hair be and let it do what it do with semi free form you can start off cultivated like for example with two strand twist or instant locks and then you leave your hair to just form um, you know continue doing what it do without you know retwisting and all of that but at least you would have formed the locks how you wanted them so those are the three lock methods I would suggest if you are just after thick locks and don't necessarily care too much about the fullness now if like me you are more so for the fuller look with your locks 
then my dear you are going to have to start with smaller locks now the reason why you have to start with smaller locks to give you that fuller look is because over time your locks will fill out and frizz out now <laughs> when you do start with finer locks or smaller locks yes your hair is going to look very scalpy very scanty and you're going to feel like uh, I'm exposed <laughs> but as you continue your lock journey and you go through the frizzy stage and you know your roots start to grow it will give you that fullness on the um, scalp but when you look at your hair as well like the fine hairs it's gonna give off like oh your hair is quite full so the lock method I would suggest is sister locks or micro braid locks right so those really small ones that will give you a fuller look and like I says once you um, come time for a retighten or um, retwisting session I think it's retightening that you will consider when you do micro braids locks or um, sister locks it will give you a nice full look and even after that like say you know you retightened and then over time because your hair is maturing you will see the fluffiness the frizziness will give you a much fuller appearance and like just voluptuous you know that's what I like I like big hair so I know now moving forward for my um, my next lock journey when I am ready to really start my next lock journey is um, you know um, start with sister locks or micro locks so once again because we have fine low density hair we don't have the luxury of having both full and thick locks we literally have to pick one or the other because of our hair density and that's the main thing it's your hair's density because you can have someone with full uh, like full hair density I wouldn't say full hair density but more a higher hair density and have fine hair strands but because there is so much hair growing in a square section you know they can still you know have you can either do um, you, you can actually have thick full um, locks right but because of the hair's density the strands is not necessarily a big part especially if you have um, a higher hair density but if you have fine hair density and um, fine, fine hair strands sorry and low density then you have to pick which one you're gonna go with now if you have thick hair strands and low density you're gonna fall on this side where you know you, you, you have to consider um, fullness or thickness so it's, it's the hair density that plays the biggest role in determining whether you have full thick locks okay so I hope you guys found today's video very helpful especially if you have low density hair and you are about to start your lock journey and you are thinking that you want full and thick locks but at least you will understand you can have either one or the other and what lock method are best to consider for starting your lock journey so once again go ahead and check the cards above as well as in the description bar below for similar videos like this one and if you found today's video very helpful then please be sure to like comment share and subscribe if you are not already subscribed so until next week Sunday at 5 p.m. we will be right back here with another video